Hello learners, this is Akash. I completed my B.Tech from NIT Raoul Kela in the year 2020. Currently, I am a mathematics teacher. Now, let us see how to solve this given question. Here, we need to find out the reduction formula for cos power nx, integral cos power nx dx, okay, where n is greater than or equal to 2, okay, n is a positive integer and it is greater than or equal to 2. And after that, once we get the reduction formula, we need to find out integral cos power for x dx. Fine. Okay, chalo. Fine. Now, how to do this? First, we need to take this given integral as i n. Okay, given integral as i n. Okay, before that, I have with me Krishna who will be asking some doubts and also he will be answering my questions. And I have some questions for you also, audience. Okay, so that I just do not want this to be. A one way interaction like I just speak and you listen. I want to see your involvement also. How can you involve? You can involve through the comments box. Okay. For the questions that I ask, please do put in put your answers in the comments box. Okay. Chalo, first take the given integral as i n. i n is nothing but integral cos power n x dx1. Since the power is n here, that's why I took i n. If the power would have been n minus 1, it will be i n minus 1 n minus power is n minus 2 cos power n minus 2 x then it will be i n minus 2 fine keep it keep this in mind i'm going to use this at a later stage now this cos power n x it can be written as cos power n minus 1 x into cos x okay cos power n minus 1 x into cos x how because because x power n can be written as x power n can be written as x power n minus 1 into x power 1 okay this is totally okay that's why cos power n x can be written as which is nothing but cos x whole power n it can be written as cos x power n minus 1 into cos x which is nothing but cos power n minus 1 x into cos x fine i hope the first step is clear let's keep going now next this cos x okay this cos x i want to write it as derivative of something now here's my first question to your audience and my first question to you also krishna what is whose derivative will go cos x okay i want to write cos x as derivative of some function what is that function which will give whose derivative will give cos x whose derivative will cause derivative of which function is cos x pause the video here put your answer in the comments box okay what is the answer krishna yeah excellent derivative of sin x is cos x so this cos x i can write it as derivative of sin x it is totally okay fine chalo this cos x i wrote it as derivative of sin x fine now integrate in integration there is a concept which is known as integration by parts now you might ask me why i wrote this as cos x as derivative of some function to get it in that form i can use integration by parts when i have a function first function into derivative of some function in that case i can use integration by parts now what does that formula say that formula states that okay integral u of x into v dash of x dx is nothing but u of x into v of x it's there fine i'll explain i'll go step by step fine see this means that integral first function u of x into v dash x means derivative of v of x that means my second function is derivative of some function no, derivative of v of x fine if you'll observe this line if you don't go to this now if you'll observe this like my u of x is nothing but cos power n minus 1 x fine my u of x my u of x is nothing but this cos power n minus 1 x this is my u of x and v dash x is nothing but derivative of v of x that means my v of x is nothing but here i have derivative of sin x here is derivative of v of x derivative of sin x that means my v of x is nothing but sin x so this is i'll use some other color so that it will make things easier my v of x okay this will be my v of x not v dash x this will be my v of x okay fine u of x v of x I have. so as per this formula since my given integral is of that form upon using this integration by parts what do i get i get this this is nothing but u of x into v of x now let's come to the rhs u of x into v of x so what is u of x cos power n minus 1 x into sin x u of x into v of x minus integral minus integral u dash of x that means derivative of u of x derivative of cos power n minus 1 x into 
v of x into v of x sin x dx okay i hope it is clear in case you did not understand please do put your query in the comments box and i'll try my best to help you out there fine chalo now next what is derivative of cos power n minus 1x what is derivative of cos power n minus derivative of cos power n minus 1x is nothing but n minus 1 into cos power n minus 2x into derivative of cos x okay krishna i know krishna wants to ask it out his doubt is how this came out like this in the previous video also i if you don't know i already made a question i already made the video for integral sign for nx you can just check out my channel you will find it there okay in that i clearly he yeah, krishna asked a doubt like how this is this that's why i know that he is going to ask me this i'll explain it right now see derivative of cos power n minus 1x right see cos power n, n minus 1x is nothing but it is actually you can take it as cos x power you can take it as cos x power n minus 1 okay now this one's derivative i need to find out derivative of cos x power n minus 1 right okay a question to your audience here a question to your audience second question for the day what is derivative of x power n what is derivative of x power n krishna you should also answer fine pause the video here put your answer in the comments box fine okay yeah n into x power n minus 1 derivative of x power n is nothing but n into x power n minus 1 now this is of that form only this is of that form cos x whole power n minus 1 is of that form so instead of n i have n minus 1 here that's why that's why this one's derivative will be n minus 1 into cos x power n minus 1 minus 1 okay n minus 1 minus 1 because our formula is n into x power n minus 1 instead of n i have n minus 1 here that's why n minus 1 into cos x bar n minus 1 minus 1 into but if you see if you see here i'm not differentiating x i'm differentiating cos x power that's why as per chain rule i'll get into derivative of cos x i'll get into derivative of cos x sorry bar sorry if my handwriting is not good but i hope my speech makes makes up for it fine so that's why n minus 1 minus 1 is nothing but n minus 2 cos x power n minus 2 is nothing but cos power n minus 2x this n minus 1 is there here and into derivative of cos x i wrote it as it is and into v of x like sin x x fine i hope this step is also clear see my purpose is that i don't want you guys to just muck it up okay i want you people to understand how things are working fine so that you you will have better it you you will have better retention you will be able to remember this when you go to exam fine chalo now n minus 1 is a constant i can keep it outside integration so fine uh okay i i think i did it in the next step fine n minus 1 into cos power n minus 2x now if you see what is derivative of cos x it is minus sin x so that's why into minus sin x is there and sin x fine now here there is a minus sign here also there is a minus sign so the minus into my minus and minus they'll become plus so that's why in the next step if you'll see i have plus n minus 1 and then sin x into sin x is nothing but sin square x fine chalo let's keep going so this sin square x i'm going to write it as 1 minus cos square x sin square x i'm going to write it as 1 minus cos square a basic you know basic identity from trigonometry now so if i'll multiply if i'll multiply so i'll get cos power n minus 2x into 1 which is nothing but cos power n minus 2x because anything into 1 gives the same thing okay that's fine but a question to you audience this is my third question for the day What is cos power n minus 2x into cos square x? What is cos power n minus 2x into cos square x? Krishna, question to you also. What is that? You can pause here, pause the video, and put your answer in the comments box. Fine, so that it will be interactive. Okay, if, like you might feel why I should do it, but if you do it, you will feel involved. It will be interactive, and I can know how much you under your understanding. And fine, uh, okay. So cos power n minus 2x into cos square x is actually cos power n x. you now you might ask me why and how see if i'll multiply these two if i'll multiply these two so what i'll get is cos power n minus 2x into cos square x now that is of the form a power m into a power n a power m into a power n is nothing but a power m plus n so that's why here i have that's why here i have cos power n minus 2 here the power is 2 so plus 2 x okay this one's power and this one's power will be added up We okay, minus two plus two they'll get cancelled. That's why I get cos power n x here. I mean my, minus sign is naturally there. Okay, 
now next next what i'm going to do is i'm going to split the int i mean give the integral to both so the, i'm going to open this bracket so this n minus 1 also will get will go to this first and then n minus 1 this and integral also will go to both so fine n minus 1 into integral cos power n minus 2x dx and then n minus is there in between minus n minus 1 integral cos power nx dx fine okay chalo now a very important thing okay if you guys remember in the beginning in the beginning the first step i took ins cos power nx i told you right now here i have cos power n minus 2x that means instead of i and i'll get i n minus 2 i told you in the beginning to remember this so this is nothing but this is nothing but this is nothing but i n minus 2 and this is nothing but our i n like i took cos power nx integral cos power nx dx is i n so that's why this is nothing but i n Right? And n minus one is there for both. I mean, uh, so if, I mean, it's there. N minus one is there. Okay. Chalo. Now this minus of n minus one i and just take it to the LHS. So it will be plus n minus one into i n plus n minus one into n is there. Fine. Now RHS will be there as it is. We need some simplification in the LHS. Now multiply n i n minus one into i n is nothing but minus i n. Now this i n and this i n will get cancelled. I'm left out with n into i n is nothing but this. Now. I actually want i n. I don't want n into i n. What can I do, Krishna? What should I do? Okay, good. Just send n to the R H S. Just send n to the R H S. So i n would be nothing but it would it would go uh, go as a denominator. So this first term divided by n plus n minus one by n i n minus. That's it. We are done with the reduction formula. Not the question. Okay, we need to find out integral cos power four x also. Don't start celebrating it. Partial celebrations are okay. Okay, chalo. So fine. We need to find out cos integral cos power four x dx. Now, how to do that? See, we already got the formula for i n. Okay, reduction formula for i. Pretty simple. Okay, we need to find out integral cos power four x dx. So for that, just put n as four in this equation. Okay, put n as four. That's it. So we need to find out i four. I four. That's it. So fine. If I'll put n as four, so wherever you see n in this equation, just put n as four. That's it. It's replaced by four. N is replaced by four. So cos power four minus one x sine x by four plus four minus one by four. I four minus two. Okay. Let's keep going. So four minus one is three. So cos cube x into sine x plus by I mean by four plus here if you'll see. Four minus one is three. Three by four. I two. Okay. Fine. Chalo. Good. Now, my fourth question for you, audience, and to you also, Krishna. How will we get I two? See, for I four, I did something. How will I get I two? Now, pause the video here and think, and put your answer. Okay. How will I get Krishna? Simple. Uh, what I need to do is. In the same equation, like in this equation, I need to put i n as two. That's it. For i to find out i four, i four, I just put n as four here. To find out i two, I need to put n as two here. That's it. So in the same equation, I mean, in place of i two, in, in my next step, what you would say in this instead of n, there will be two. That's it. As I mentioned, fine. All good. Chalo. So cos power two minus one x sine x. Two minus two minus one is one, so cos x into sine x. I get three by four into cos x into sine x plus half i not two minus two is zero i not. That's why. Chalo. So now just multiply this. So three into cos x sine x by four two zero eight. So plus three cos x sine x by eight and three into one is three four two zero eight. So three by eight i not. Chalo. Now last thing, i not is nothing but x. Okay, i not is nothing but x. And an integration constant, so three by eight x plus. Okay, hooray! Now you can start chanting because we are done with the question. Fine, Krishna, you did not ask any questions in this video. He didn't get any questions. I guess he got clarity in the previous question. Like I explained integral sine power n x dx because because of that, I guess he understood how things work. In case you guys did not check out that video, please do check it out. You can go to my channel and just search for it. You will get it. Fine, integral sine power n x dx. and uh, i hope you like this 
in case you like this video please hit the like button it will encourage me to make many more of such videos and any comments really related to this video please do put them uh, like you like the explanation or you understood how i went fine and you have any doubts you can just mention okay from this minute like two minutes 40 seconds to two minutes 50 seconds this step i did not understand if you say it like this it, i'll be clear about your doubt and i can help you out better fine and if this is your first time coming across to my channel please just subscribe to it thank you